tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaff. Well, we've been talking about how we need the rainfall, and during the overnight, we did have a band of rain arrive between about 2 and 6 a.m. this morning, moving from south to north across the region. The central part of the tri-state picked up the rainfall. The outskirts remain dry. Right now, the radar is showing dry conditions, but here's the radar estimated rainfall totals during the night. Notice the blue shades right across the 275 loop in northern Kentucky, anywhere from about a tenth to maybe five or six tenths of an inch. Our western Indiana counties remain dry. Our eastern counties remain dry. It was the heart of the region that picked up the overnight rainfall. We had 2100 is the official total. Hamilton, the highest location. Total I can find at six tenths of an inch, 2300s or thereabouts here at the station, as well as Lunkin. So the new monthly total now is up, but we are still well below where we should be for the month of May, which is typically the wettest month of the year with nearly five inches. We've had 1.37. We are still behind by over three inches for the year. We are behind by around an inch. So we do continue to need to make up some of that rainfall. We'll have a chance for a few more storms today and then more activity this weekend. Right now in the city cam shop, those clouds are thickening. We did have a pretty good amount of some morning mix of sun and clouds, but now they are rebuilding in. And so we'll be a little bit limited for afternoon sunshine. South winds right now at 15 miles an hour. A south breeze will continue. The temperature at 76. Satellite and radar combined showing. That morning shower was basically the only one in the region overhead for us. Otherwise, it's been quiet across the area under partly cloudy skies. We will have some redevelopment this afternoon. The complex of showers and storms that are more widespread off across Missouri, not going to impact us today. But as that front drags closer for tomorrow, I do think we'll increase our coverage of thunderstorms. So today, an afternoon downpour or storm, probably not going to cause too many problems. Should be fairly brief for those that develop or see the rainfall overhead. Then a good chance to be dry for the overnight and to start our Saturday morning dry. But as that front slowly sags into our way, our direction for tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be our northwest counties, the biggest chance for afternoon thunderstorms to refire on Saturday. And then most of us will get wet Saturday night into Sunday morning. That'll be the time period with the most widespread thunderstorms as well as rain. Here's our close look at the future cast here at 1 o'clock. Mostly cloudy skies out there. Notice just a couple of afternoon storms or downpours popping up. They should be pretty brief, and then we'll pretty much quiet down for our evening. Dry for the overnight and tomorrow morning. If you have any 5K runs or out and about for your Saturday morning, it looks good. For Saturday afternoon, it's a little bit dependent on where you're located. Again, the farther north and west of Cincinnati, I think we'll see the more concentration of afternoon showers and storms on Saturday. As we head into Saturday night, the whole line will slide through the region, and that'll increase the coverage of some rain into Sunday morning. 84 for a high today. It will be warm and muggy again. Tonight, 67 and likely dry. Tomorrow morning, still a dry morning, but for the afternoon, some of those storms arriving. 83 degrees on Saturday. A very isolated, strong storm, but severe weather, not much of a concern for this. On Sunday, the rain is pushing out for the morning to early afternoon, and then we start to dry out by the evening hours. I think we should all be dry come late afternoon, 70 degrees. Next week, uh, cool to start in the 70s. We'll warm back up for the midweek with a few thunderstorms.